I woke up one morning to the soundtrack of my alarm clock, calling me to rise and face another day. But I couldn't help but feel that my world was swamped in a grey. I looked outside my window and I half expected two black and red horizontal lines streaking in two forever, but was merely treated to overcast foul weather. Did you ever get the feeling that this isn't the only world to ever exist? Once upon a time, there was another world. A world of red and black hooped striped jerseys, spiky hair and Abyssinian wire-haired tripounds. Armoury stacked with catapults, pea shooters, water pistols and an endless supply of rotten tomatoes. Unruly, unrulable kids raised and educated on Bash Street. Dodgers, minxes and menaces who accepted authority like Lord Snooty needs charity. So, did all the mums and dads and teachers and sergeants and mayors and headmasters finally charter a mastercrafted stratagem to keep these hoodlum youths at bay? Did they realise it would turn the world so grey? Did they dismantle the world with such sly revenge you woke up one morning and wondered when all the mischief ended? Did all the dodge books get put on some huge sinister bonfire or are they still just in the attic, unreadable and static? Maybe I got the last train out of Beano Town when I asked my grand to cut off my subscription, cancel my 60p addiction to be replaced by the hunt for CDs and surreal TV. I still try and wake up each morning with a plan for the hijinks of the day. And what scheme accompanies this 12 panel scandal? Because fights have become a blur of dust and fists. Puns come thicker and faster than a combination of Fatty and Billy Whiz. The reader's voice accompanies every story in this ever-living glory. And our thoughts are made real in clouds that hover above our heads. So, never let the slipper have its bitter victory. Never become a softy, never quiver, never simper and think what a glorious rebellion we could achieve under the menace manifesto of a British comics masterpiece. Well, I pressed the snooze button on my alarm clock and I drifted back to sleep.